Welcome back to HU16 News. I'm Grant Clemens, and here's what's happening in the world of sports. The Harding volleyball team was back in action Tuesday at the Rhodes Reeves Fieldhouse as they took on Wachita Baptist and a Great American Conference rivalry. The Lady Bisons had 50 kills as they won in three straight sets. Harding started the match with four straight kills, leading 9-8. The Lady Bisons went on a 9-2 run on five kills to lead 18-10. Harding then went on to win the set 25-16. The Lady Bisons again started the second set out with four straight points. Tied at eight, the Lady Bisons went on an 11-4 run to lead 19-12. Leading 23-20 now, Harding had a kill by Libby Hinton and blocked to win the set 25-20. Tied at four in the third and final set, Harding went on an 8-3 run to lead 12-7. Watchdog Baptist battled back, however, to, for an 8-2 run to lead 15-14. The Lady Bisons answered back with their own run with 7-1 run on a four kills and three blocks to lead 21-16. Harding then went on to win the last four, not the last four of the last five points to win the set 25-20. Harding was led by Kelly McKinnon who had 14 kills and hit point three, four, five on the day and had two blocks. The Lady Bisons will play their final mat home match of the season Thursday when they host Arkansas Monticello at 6 p.m. at the Red Trees Fieldhouse. From the court to the field now, the Harding women's soccer team also played Wachita Baptist Tuesday in Great American Conference action. They traveled to Arkadelphia and were held scoreless and lost by a score of 2-0. Wachita Baptist took 11 shots, four of which were on goal. Jamie Dotson led the Tigers with three shots. Two of those were on goal. Harding had five shots all by different players, and the Lady Bisons had one shot on goal the whole day. And Jessica Wozner had two saves for Harding. After Saturday's result in the GAC, Harding is currently in fourth place in the GAC standings, with the top four teams advancing to the GAC tournament November 14th and 16th. Venues decided upon who has the GAC regular season championship. Harding fell to 6-9-2 overall and 5-5-1 in the GAC play. And Wachita Baptist improved to 10-5-1 overall and 8-2-1 in the Great American Conference. Harding will play its final regular season match Saturday at East Central. Kickoff is at 11 a.m. in Ada, Oklahoma. Two high school football players went head-to-head -head during a game in Texas last Friday night, but they captured many people's hearts when they bonded after. Bailey McCoy reports. Just one of the key plays that Sherman High School senior Gage Smith made at their game against West Mesquite on Friday. But it's what Smith did after the game that most people remember. When you're playing the game, you're, you're playing to win, and, and the other team is the enemy, but afterwards, you know, you, have the, you still have the respect for the other opponent. Smith says he knows West Mesquite player Ty Jordan from a select seven on seven team they both played on. Jordan's mom is battling cancer and Smith asked to pray with him after the game. I just had a moment with him, praying, praying over him, his mom and his family. Smith says in that moment, it wasn't about the score or being opponents. It was about showing compassion. Jordan's aunt posted the pictures to Facebook, expressing how much the gesture meant to their family. So far, it has over 100,000 shares. To see that it blew up, I was very surprised by it. And uh, it, I wasn't expecting it to be like that. You know, it was just doing it for him and doing it for his mom and his family. Sherman football coach J.D. Martinez says Smith has been a team leader on and off the field. He's a true leader, and he has compassion, and I think it, it follows through for a lot of our guys on our, on, our, uh, on our team. Martinez says his wife happened to capture the special moment, and she sent the pictures to Smith's mom, who passed them on to Jordan's family. Pretty special that kind of everybody gets to see really what he is. He, he's that type of kid all the time. It's just not in front of the cameras or anything like that. He's, he's like that every day. Football brings people together in so many different ways, and that was just one example of it that night. That isn't something you see every day, so that's just such a cool and heartwarming story, and we wish them the best of luck the rest of the season. And now to the coolest thing I saw. I take you to Stamford Bridge, England, as Ajax is taking on Chelsea in the UEFA Champions League action. 35th minute, Ajax Hakim Ziyech with the free kick. Ziyech bends it towards the back post and it goes in for the goal. But you have to see this one one more time. Watch as the free kick goes inside of the post and then off the face of the Chelsea keeper Kepa Arizabalaga and in. It's rolled an own goal for Kepa. This would be a wild affair that ended in a 4-4 draw. Well, that's all I have for sports. Remember, you can stay up to date on all the latest Harding sports at hardingsports.com.